So the 2023 to 2024 NBA season has been really interesting for the Toronto Raptors for a couple different reasons. One of course the big one being that the Raptors pretty much this year decided that they were going to of course trade away a couple of their really good players like Pascal Siakam and OG and Anobi and of course I wouldn't say tank but kind of like a little bit of a rebuild on the run type of situation of course with that has followed them having a pretty high chance of getting a good pick so again in today's video we'll be talking about who i think they should be selecting with their first round pick which again at the time making this video we don't know what the official draft lottery is going to be so we don't know if the raptors are going to rise we don't know if the raptors are going to fall so I will just be going off based off where they are sitting right now in the standings at the time of making this video, which does have them with the sixth overall pick. Again, I do highly recommend you guys go and check out my mock draft, of course, linked in the description down below. That way, if you're wondering why I didn't take a certain player with this pick, it might have been because I already you know, have taken him with a higher pick to a different team. So I highly recommend you guys go and check out that video just so you are all up to date. And I guess without further ado, here's who I think the Toronto Raptors should select if the 2024 NBA draft happened today. And again, the Raptors have always been, I feel like a harder team to draft from in the last couple of years because they could take absolutely any position because I feel like they've got a lot of really decent players in their starting five, like Scotty Barnes, AJ, RJ Barrett, sorry, uh, again, Emmanuel Quickly, etc., who, uh, again, are pretty decent in their respective positions. Of course, their bench is definitely one of the more weak ones in the league. So with this pick, though, I did just kind of think, well, let's just go with who I think is best available, which is Robert Dillingham, who is arguably the best point guard in this draft so far. Again, of course, I did have Nikola Topic going at pick four, who I do believe is probably, is maybe the best, but also fits what the Spurs needed at that pick. But again, the Raptors really can't go wrong with Dillingham. I really don't think at this pick. Again, he is an elite player when it comes to his speed and athleticism. Great ball handler who is extremely crafty and great at losing defenders with his insanely quick dribble moves. He's a great playmaker with just insanely good court vision, very capable of executing really high speed plays he also happens to be one of the best shot creators in this draft and puts a ton of effort into both ends of the court a couple downsides can potentially be his defense sometimes is not exactly great although again puts in a fair bit of effort it is said that he can get pushed off pretty easily and can be used as a mismatch target which does scare me a little bit because Toronto, I feel like, have kind of, I think, really based themselves off having great defense in the previous couple years. But with some new coaching here and there, you can tell they're really trying to, I think, embrace a new offensive game style. And I think Dillingham works really well with this Raptors team because I look at this Raptors team right now and I see a lot of really, really good things. But one thing I don't see a whole lot of is playmaking. Again, Scotty Barnes, I think, is a really underrated ball handler and playmaker, and he's going to get better and better with that every year. Emmanuel Quickly is definitely much more of a, you know, shot first, I think, shot creator kind of guy. But Dillingham, not only is he a great shot creator, but he's extremely quick and he's a very good pass of the ball, who I think is going to work really, really well with a couple of these Raptors players. Again, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle this because they might already think that Emmanuel Quickly is, of course, their future point guard, which I do expect could be the case. But I have no reason to say that maybe both of these guys couldn't potentially start together at the guards. Again, I don't really see too many reasons not to try potentially both of these guys together. And it's really like, well, whoever you draft at this pick is probably going to be a position they almost already have, you know, filled. Like if they were to draft the center, well, you've already got Jakob Pertl there. If you're going to draft the forward, well, you've already got RJ Barrett and you've already got Scotty Barnes. 
I just figured they probably need another guard. I'm not exactly too sure what the long-term future is of Emmanuel quickly at that point guard position, even though I actually have liked what I've seen on the Raptors. I think it is time to bring in a guy who can really play make and of course be an awesome passer to a guy like Scotty Barnes. And I think that Dillingham does that really, really well. Again, a ton of great things to like about him. And his only knock is he might, you know, not be exactly the greatest defender. But honestly, at the point guard position at six foot two in the NBA, I definitely feel like he will be able to settle in with that. And again, we've seen Emmanuel quickly as well have a lot of experience at playing the shooting guard. I just think this this pick makes a ton of sense. He's the, definitely the best player available with this pick. And I really do think the Raptors, it'd be awesome for them to finally bring in a playmaker and a dude who can, of course, you know, not only do that, but shot create as well, which would be something really awesome to help out, of course, Scotty Barnes. With, this, with the sixth overall pick, I will, of course, have the Toronto Raptors selecting Robert Dillingham. So, of course, if you haven't already, Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. What do you guys think about this mock draft? Do you guys like or do you guys not? Again, I highly recommend, like I said earlier, to go and check out my previous ones, which were linked in the description down below. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and this one, of course, if you haven't already. Uh, links for that gaming one will be in the description down below. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below, guys, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.